Hello everyone, this is Darth Lion. Welcome to another Star Wars review I have for you all today. Today we're going to be taking a look at some more Star Wars items from the Commemorative Skywalker Saga collection. Here we have some Star Wars Funko VHS t-shirts. Now these are very special, just like from the rest of the Skywalker Saga collection, for the, for the release leading up to the Rise of Skywalker. These are also part of the collection, some t-shirts. Not just any t-shirts, some VHS t-shirts. And I'll tell you why in a second. But here we have the shirts itself. Now these are the packagings that they come in, or the boxes that they come in. And yes, I already opened them up. And yes, I already wore them. And yes, I really love them, really love all the shirts. It's really, really cool. I highly recommend getting the shirts for any Star Wars fan out there. But let's set that aside. We're not into conclusions yet. I want to show you what the each box looks like. And after I show you all of the boxes, since I opened up all of them already, I'm going to show you what the boxes look like. And I will show you some pictures of the shirts that I'm wearing. And I'll discuss what's on there. Well, of course, they're going to be showing it on the back of the boxes. But without further ado, let's take a look at them. So let's start off with Star Wars A New Hope, since this was the first ever Star Wars movie released. Now, looking at all the boxes, I love the way they made the uh, design on the boxes. It looks like it's an actual VHS tape. So that's really, really awesome. And what's really cool for Funko, they said they put Funko Home Video. From Funko Home Video, we have Star Wars A New Hope. I really love the way that they got creative with the design of the box. And as you can see, you got some wear and tear right here around all around the box. And no, I didn't damage the box. This is how it comes in. This is what the box looks like. It's supposed to look weathered because these are very old Star Wars movies. So I really love the way that they added that touch to it. Now, taking a look at the front of the box, you can see the really creative Funko Home video on top there. Really love the way they made that. And, and you got the Funko logo right here. And it looks like tape right, tape right here, videotape for the logo. Really awesome. And taking a look at the front, you can see the classic, the classic art of the poster for Star Wars A New Hope. You can see Darth Vader right here in the background. You can see Luke Skywalker shining his lightsaber and Princess Leia right next to him. And right there, you can see the Commemorative Edition Skywalker Saga logo. And it actually has the same exact uh, picture right there. So that's pretty cool. So you got Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia on the little logo right here. And what it would have behind it, it would have been C-3PO and R2-D2. It would have represented... If you look up the uh, original poster for A New Hope, you can see C-3PO and R2-D2 on the bottom right. And right here, it would have, as you may know, before I get to that part, this is right here. It's actually a real sticker. Honestly, I thought this was also applied to the box as well, like added, added. I thought this wasn't a sticker at all. So yeah, it's a sticker. And as you may know, as you may know, you got some X-Wings right here. And you would even have the Death Star there too. I thought it was really awesome for them to include the classic art on their uh, box. Really, really cool. I'm really glad that they did that. And on the bottom right here, you can see the Star Wars A New Hope logo. And right there, it includes one piece, short sleeve t-shirt. And on the side right here, you can see you got the Funko Home Video logo again. Really awesome. Right here, you can see it says Star Wars A New Hope right there. It actually looks like it has tape and has the videotape in there, it looks like. And as you can see, you have Princess Leia right here. And as a way, remember when I said about the VHSs? Well, these actually are very hot shirts. <laughs> I, th I thought that was really way, I thought that was a really good way of improvising for the VHS, the abbreviation of VHS. I thought that was really funny and clever at the same time. Very hot shirt, VHS. Really awesome. That actually got me cracking up. I really love the way that Funko improvised with the VHS. So yeah, really awesome touch and funny as well. 
And on the back right here, you see the Funko Home Video logo again, Star Wars A New Hope, and it shows you what the t-shirt looks like in the back. So as you can see, you have Darth Vader right there holding his lightsaber, and this is actually this is actually the first ever concept type art for the lightsaber as you can see and i believe it's for darth vader as well well not the con not the first concept art but it looks like it reminds me of the concept art from ralph mcquarrie because of the way he looks with the classic lightsaber that he's holding in white because back then for star wars they had white lightsabers for the uh, very first star wars movie so i thought that was really cool for this shirt and you can see the death star in the back right there of darth vader in his cool pose really awesome you got the commemorative edition Skywalker Saga logo right here. So, and as you can see, like I showed before, this T inside, and some you have other languages as well for what it's for, what it means right here. You got the Funko logo right here, with the uh, Funko website Funko.com, and you have the Disney logo right here, box T Star Wars Vader Death Star, and yeah, really cool. That's the barcode right there. And yeah, you can you can um, follow you can follow Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for Funko. Really awesome. I really love the company Funko. They re they really make good products. They really make amazing products for me to enjoy. So you can see on the other side, you got the Funko Home Video logo again. It's pretty much the same as the other side. Star Wars: A New Hope right here, and you got Princess Leia and the VHS very hot shirts. Really nice. And on the bottom right here. And I really love the way they made this detail, right? The design on the bottom of the box. You can see it looks like VA, it looks like real VHS right there underneath. So I thought that was really awesome. Really love these products already. Really love these. As I set the side. Oh, I almost forgot. On the top right here, you can see the Star Wars Lo A New Hope logos on both of them right here. So that's really nice. Really nice. All right, as I set this right here, now let's move on to the second movie in the real, the original trilogy, The Empire Strikes Back. So I'm moving these right here. There we go. Here is The Empire Strikes Back, the second film in the original trilogy, and the fifth episode, respectively. So as you can see, you got the Funko Home Video logo right here. Funko logo, awesome, awesome. And you got the classic... You got the classic art right here, the original art of the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back poster. I I think all of the all the VHSs have classic arts for their original Star Wars posters, so that's really awesome. And for this one, you, as you can see, for anyone that doesn't know what the classic poster looks like, here's what it looks like right here. And I like I said, I really love the way that they included them in these design of the in the design of the box right here. So you got Darth Vader right there in the background. You got some X-Wings. You got Luke Skywalker on a Tauntaun. You have the Cl Cloud City in the background. And you have Lando Calrissian on the bottom right there. And you got Boba Fett. And I'm not sh I'm not sure what this character is right here. Let me give you a good look at him right there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that character is right there. And you got Han Solo and Leia. Princess Leia right there. Yeah, really awesome. Really love these really love the arts on the original posters really awesome it should take all star wars fans back and as you can see right here you got the commander of edition skywalker saga logo right here again really awesome and once again we have the sticker of the unisex t-shirt and you have size actually all of the shirts are size medium since i'm a size medium myself and as you can see they also before i get move along they also have other sizes too for these shirts so anyways, you have the Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back logo right there. And really awesome. I love the way that they make the uh, wear and tear look to the packaging all around. It looks really, really awesome. And on the side right here, you got the Funko Home Video logo right here. And you got The Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars. You have Luke Skywalker right there. And you have the VHS again, very hot shirt. Just looking at that still makes me crack up. And on the back right here, you got the Funko Home Video Right here, yep, the Empire Strikes Back, Star, Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back. This T inside, and this is what the T-shirt looks like right here. Really awesome. You got some more language right there, same thing. Same thing as the others, just different shirts and, of course, different uh, fronts of the boxes, of course. You got the Commemorative Edition Skywalker Saga logo again. You have Disney right there. You got the barcode, box T, Star Wars, Empire Frame. You have Funko again. 
really, really cool. And as we spin along here, we have Funko Home Video logo again. Pretty much the same thing on both sides of each box. Empire Strikes Back. We got Luke Skywalker and, v and Very Hot Shirt. <laughs> awesome. Like I said, love the wear and tear around the boxes. On the bottom right here, you see, same thing as the others. Looks like VHSs are in there. And on the top, you got the Empire Strikes Back logo. Both of them right here. Really nice. Love all these packages. Love all these boxes. And as I get them straightened up right here, and last but not least, we have the final ep the final episode in the original trilogy, the final Star Wars film in this trilogy, the sixth episode, respectively. And of course, for Star Wars A New Hope, that's the fourth episode, respectively, for the Star Wars stories, the so Star Wars saga. That's episode four, episode five, and this is episode six. And for right here, for Return of the Jedi, really, really cool. You have Funko Home Video right here. You have the Funko logo again. And we have another classic art for the Return of the Jedi poster. Really, really awesome. And right here, as I show you all around, you got some X-Wings right here. You got some TIE Fighters. And some TIE Interceptors, of course. And you got the second Death Star right here in the back. On the top right here, you got the second Death Star. You have Darth Vader right there. Really nice. And here's Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Princess Leia, Wicked W. Wark. I think that's how you pronounce his name. The uh, Ewok right here, Wicked W. Wark. You have Lando Calrissian right here. And I believe in the background here, if you can see right there, right in front of Luke's, right behind Luke Skywalker right here, you can see some, stair, some stairs right here. That's supposed to represent part of the Emperor's throne room. So that's pretty cool. You got the commemorative edition of Skywalker Saga logo. We have the sticker right here of the t-shirt. And we have Star Wars Return of the Jedi logo right here. Really, really awesome. Like I said, we got the wear and tear again. Awesome look. Just considering the fact that these movies are very old. I mean, A New Hope was released in 1977. The Empire Strikes Back was released in 1980. And Return of the Jedi was released three years later, 1983. And we're in 2019, and it's only a few hours left until we move on to a new decade, 2020, the new year. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to, hopefully I'll be able to get this review done before the clock ticks so I can have enough time to make my Happy New Year's countdown video as well, along with this. So you got the Return of the Jedi logo right here again. And on all the stickers right there, you got the Funko crown on the middle right there on all of them. So yeah, really nice. You got One Piece and the same thing. One Piece, all of them say One Piece short sleeve t-shirt. On the side right here, you got Funko Home Video on top. Star Wars Return of the Jedi. You've got Han Solo right there. And you have VHS, very hot shirt. And on the back right here, as we spin along, we have Funko Home Video, Return of the J Star Wars Return of the Jedi. This T inside... And here's what the T looks like, the T-shirt. In this case, you got different languages for the T-shirt right there. Commemorative Edition Skywalker Saga logo right there. We got the Funko logo, Disney, Box T, Star Wars, Vader, Return. Right there. It says in the barcode right there. And it says, oh, I almost, actually, I forgot to show you on all of them. All of the uh, Star Wars shirts on the back right there. All of them say on the very bottom, the very bottom it says, Made in El Salvador. I think that's how you pronounce that. So that's where these shirts were made. It's like a little clear sticker right here. So I just spinned along the other boxes front ways, forward ways, after I put the Return of the Jedi one back right there. Really love the way, really love the packaging on re the Return of the Jedi one too. I love all these pack boxes on the Funko Home Video quote unquote VHS t-shirts. So really, really awesome. Love all of the designs on them. I really love the wear and tear that they gave to all of them. Considering, like I said, I really love the way they made the wear and tears on the boxes. And by the way, as you get these, don't think that the boxes are ripped to shreds or something. It's supposed to look like that as a way 
of showing on how old these Star Wars movies are. They're really good classics, the original trilogy. So that's why we got the VHS tapes of the t-shirts. That's why they have the wear and tear look to them. So don't worry, everybody. If you want to get these shirts, these are not the packagings or the boxes. So if you want to save these boxes, don't worry. They're not ripped to shreds or anything. They're not ripped and like pretty much in bad shape. Don't worry. They just look like that as the design. So really nice touch by Funko. So now I'll show you the pictures of each of the shirts. And while I show you one by one, I'll explain to you how the shirts are. So as you may know, I took some pictures of me wearing the shirt. However, I did take only, I did take pictures of the shirts that I was wearing, each of them, so I can show you what they look like up close instead of what they look like in the back of the box and how they showed. I mean, on the back of each box, they show you on how each shirt is supposed to look like. But I did take pictures, like I said, of the shirts that I was wearing, and I'll show you them up close. While I show each one of them, I'll explain to you all what they look like. So let's jump right in. Roll the pictures. So taking a look at the first Star Wars shirt from A New Hope, here it is. And as you can see, we are greeted with the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader himself. And he is holding his original classic white lightsaber. Looks really awesome. And in the background, you can see the super weapon, the Death Star. And around them both, you have the Star Wars logo in gray and white. Now, I love all these shirts because they have like a vintage look to them. And I really do admire that on all of them. And I have another reason why I love them all. And I will explain to that. I will explain that later on in the video. But here is the Star Wars shirt from A New Hope. As we move on to the next shirt out of the three. So here we have Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. And this shirt looks really awesome as well. Just like the first one I showed you. And as you can see, you have the Empire Strikes Back logo on the top, classic font. On the left, top left, you can see some Rebel Armored Snow Speeders. Right there, you have Darth Vader holding his lightsaber. You have Luke Skywalker, Yoda, Han Solo. You have another Snow Speeder on the top. You have Princess Leia, and you got some at, -AT Walkers on the bottom too, firing away. And on the left side, you can even see you can even see Lando Calrissian along with a little. Rebel Armored Snow Speeder on top of him, right above him. So that's really cool. I really love this shirt as well. Looks really awesome. I think these shirts really work great for me. I should wear these shirts in my future videos, in some of my future videos. But here is Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. And here we have the last shirt coming your way. So here we have the final shirt out of the three, the final Star Wars shirt, from Return of the Jedi. And as you can see, this shirt resembles the unused poster for Revenge of the Jedi. And as you can see, you have Darth Vader in the background with the red and black color. And on the right side, you can see Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader dueling. And if you take a closer look at them, you have Luke Skywalker holding a red lightsaber and Darth Vader holding a blue lightsaber. And around the classic poster look, you have the Star Wars Return of the Jedi logo in blue. Now, as you may know, Return of the Jedi, Return of the Jedi was originally called Revenge of the Jedi. And this was the very original poster for it. But of course, George Lucas changed the title for it from Revenge to Return of the Jedi, since revenge is not the Jedi way. So you have right here the shirt based on the Revenge of the Jedi poster. So that's really awesome. So here is the final shirt from Return of the Jedi. So that concludes my review on the Funko Home Video Star Wars Very Hot shirts. And I really love all of them. For any Star Wars fan... I highly, highly recommend getting these shirts. If you happen to find any of them, pick them up. And if you if you happen to find all three of them, I mean, from all three Star Wars movies from the original trilogy, I suggest you go pick them all. Take them all or buy them all. What's not to like about the original trilogy? 
After all, these are the classic Star Wars movies that we all know and love, of course. And this actually, these shirts actually make me think of something. My dad and I think about this for these shirts. I think, my dad and I think that all these shirts might be based off of the unused Star Wars posters for all three of these movies. I mean, think about it. I mean, for the Return of the Jedi shirt that I just showed you, it was based off of, it was pretty much identical, identical to the very original Star Wars poster, the unused poster for Revenge of the Jedi. And they pretty much based that shirt off of that unused poster. I think it might mean the same for the other two shirts as well, from A New Hope and The Empire Strikes Back. For this one being pretty much identical to the Revenge of the Jedi poster for that shirt, these two shirts, I think they might also be pretty much identical to their their unused poster counterparts. I mean, their unused Star Wars posters for the two those two movies. Maybe they're based off of maybe these two are based off of the unused posters. Who knows? I mean, we all know for any Star Wars fan out there who knows their Star Wars trivia, we know that that shirt right there for Return of the Jedi is identical to Revenge of the Jedi. So I'm taking I'm thinking very hard that I'm thinking that these two shirts are also based off of unused posters. But what do you guys think? With the exception of the Return of the Jedi poster shirt right there, the unused poster right there, that shirt, what do you think of these two movies right there? Are they also based off of their unused Star Wars posters for their movies? For their two movies right there? For these two shirts? Tell me in the comments below. I want to hear, I want to hear your uh, uh, educated guesses or answers. Because honestly, I think these two shirts are based off of the unused posters. I mean, we all know, for any Star Wars fan, we all know that that shirt is based off of the unused poster. So maybe it's the same with these two as well. I really love all these shirts, nevertheless. Love all of them. So yeah, that wraps up today's video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on the bell for notifications as we move on to the final hours of 2019 and we move on to a brand new decade. Goodbye, 2019. Hello, 2020. This is me wishing you all a happy new year as I show you some pictures of me wearing the shirts for all of you. Happy new year, everybody.